I will explain how to use second shifting theorem for finding inverse Laplace transform of a function of the form e raised to minus as into f of s. And the second shifting theorem states that Laplace transform of f of t minus a into e of t minus a is equal to e raised to minus as into f of s where f of s is the Laplace transform of f of t. Therefore, inverse of e raised to minus a s f of s will be f of t minus a into e of t minus a. So that's what I have written here. L inverse of e raised to minus a s into f of s is this one. So we can use this formula for finding inverse transform of a function which is multiplied by a function e raised to minus a s. Consider one example. Suppose we have to find out inverse Laplace transform of gs is equal to e raised to minus s by s square plus pi square plus e raised to minus 2s by s square plus pi square. We observe the terms of this function. The first function and the second function they are of the form e raised to minus as fs. So then what you have to do is you have to find out Laplace transform of f of s first. So in this case consider only the first term. I am going to find out L inverse of e raised to minus s by s square plus pi square. So comparing this one the value for a is 1 here and fs is 1 by s square plus pi square. So I will write fs here. fs is 1 by s square plus pi square and a is 1 here. So now Laplace transform inverse of fs. We know inverse of fs that is f of t. So f of t is L inverse f of s and now inverse of this function is 1 by pi into sin pi t. So now directly apply this formula there. So now f of t minus a that is 1 by pi into sin pi a is 1 here. So it will be t minus 1 into u t minus 1. So it will be into u t minus 1. So this is the value of inverse of the first function. And now similarly we can find out inverse of the second function also. See inverse of e raised to minus 2s by s square plus pi square. Since the function is same, we compare again fs is 1 by s square plus pi square. So now fs is this one and now inverse of this one is f of t that is 1 by pi into sin pi t. Therefore by applying this theorem its inverse is here the value of a is 2. Therefore it is f of t minus 2 into u t minus 2. So this is our f of t. So it is 1 by pi into sin pi t minus 2 into u t minus 2. Now you can simplify these two functions again. You see this one of the form. You can write this as minus 1 by pi into sin pi minus pi t. I have multiplied this and I have taken minus sign outside and this is u t minus 1 into u t minus 1. This is of the form sin pi minus theta and you know that sin pi minus theta is sin theta itself. So therefore its value is minus 1 by pi into sin pi t 
into u d minus 1. And now come back to this function again. This is 1 by pi into sin pi t minus 2 pi. So I'll write this as minus sin 2 pi minus pi t into u t minus 2. And now this is of the form sin 360 minus theta. And the value for sin 360 minus theta is minus sin theta. Therefore, this becomes 1 by pi into sin pi t into u t minus 2. So, we got value of inverse of this term and this term also. This is a raised to minus s. So, now we can write down inverse of gs. Laplace inverse of gs is Laplace inverse of first term plus Laplace inverse of second term. So, this is Laplace inverse of first term and this is Laplace inverse of second term. Therefore, we can write L inverse of gs as minus 1 by pi into sin pi t into e of t minus 1 minus 1 by pi into sorry not minus this is plus 1 by pi into sin pi t into u t minus 2. So now we can take the common factor. So we can write this as minus 1 by pi into sin pi t into u t minus 1 minus u t minus 2. So this can be written in this way minus 1 by pi into sin pi t that is defined in the interval 1 to 2. So we can write this as 1 less than t less than 2. So therefore inverse of the function is minus 1 by pi sin pi t in the interval 1 less than t less than 2. So we can use second shifting theorem for finding inverse of the function of the form e raised to minus a s into f of s. For that First of all, find out, identify f of s and find out inverse of f of s. We take it as f of t and then the answer will be f of t minus a into ut minus a.